Welcome, old friends and new, to the Bring Your Own Grief Network and a special episode, Daily Inspirations. Our existence on Earth is not infinite. Shortly after the first breath of life came to mankind, so too did the ultimate reality of losing someone loved deeply. Mourning and grief, therefore, are as old as life itself and have been the impassioned topic of many well-known philosophers, scholars, poets, prophets, playwrights, and many more over the centuries. Well, I'd like to share my favorite pieces of these works here with you today. One inspiration, one episode for each day of the year. Each remains in my cherished collection and continues to help me on my painful journey towards hope and healing. So join me now, please, as I present to you today's daily inspiration. I do hope that perhaps it might serve you as it has me. January 7th. Well, here you are a few days into the new year. A new year in which you've decided to continue your move forward on the healing journey. Good for you. I'm so honored you've chosen to join us here at the BYOG Network, and I hope, as always, you find some inspiration with us. As I always say, although we will never completely heal from our loss, we will move forward, mm -hmm. and we need to remain inspired to do just that. Now, we use that word a lot, inspired. Let's take a look at that and break it down. Inspired, in spirit. When you are inspired, you are living in spirit, living in the true spiritual essence of who you are. And when you are inspired or in spirit, there is nothing you cannot accomplish. That said, let's move on to today's daily inspiration. And January 7th actually comes from yours truly, R. Glenn Kelly. Now, if you're not aware, you'll find all of my daily inspirational episodes compiled within my published book, Grief Healings 365. And on the January 7th page in that work, I humbly included a brief excerpt from my first award-winning book, Sometimes I Cry in the Shower, A Grieving Father's Journey to Wholeness and Healing. That passage reads as follows. You must certainly take great comfort in knowing that when God was originally designing his divine plan for that someone you love but sadly lost, he pointed down from heaven and said, There, right there is someone worthy of you spending time with on earth. That alone attests to the love that God has for you. First, I certainly don't put myself in the company of such greats as Lincoln, Shakespeare, and Poe, by including myself in the pages of Grief Healing 365. But these words, even though they came from me, do inspire me. And since the book was first published, I've received so many comments from readers saying the same, and I thank them all. My hope is that you will be in spirit as you carry my thoughts with you today. Without going into great detail, my son Jonathan was born with a rare heart condition that would eventually take his life 16 years later. But as an infant, he underwent multiple excruciating and dangerous open heart surgeries to repair his heart defect and was supposed to live a full life. His passing was sudden and his passing was unexpected. I found my inspiration in part in knowing that my son had his plan with God, one, albeit short, that he and God laid out lovingly and carefully in advance of our meeting for the first time. And the mere fact that when they created that plan, I was incredibly blessed to even play a part was amazing to me. Yet maybe the biggest picture here is in the end of my passage in which I wrote, that alone attests to the love that God has for you. Huh. Making this about me, making this about you, it might seem rather selfish on its face, but it's not. Of course, we're broken hearted for our lost loved one who is no longer here to live a life on earth. My gosh. A 16-year-old child had so much more joy to discover yet. But we can't forget that our pain is, in part, from our loss, too. We hurt because we no longer get to sit, talk, share with, be with that person we love so much. But I take great comfort and, yes, inspiration in knowing that I had the privilege, the love of my son and my God to be included in the plans they developed for his short time here on earth. And I am comforted in knowing he still lives today in spirit. 
perhaps you too can take inspiration, be inspired in spirit, in knowing that you were chosen by God and by your lost loved one well before you shared time here on earth. You are loved unconditionally, then and now. So, that's today's daily inspiration and my thoughts. But you know, as well as I do, we are all as unique as snowflakes and fingerprints, aren't we? You may well take the words differently, and I ask, I welcome and would love to have you leave your unique understanding of the words we shared together in the comment section below this YouTube video. Please do. I welcome the conversation, the chance to start a dialogue and get to know the thoughts of my fellow grievers, and maybe maybe travel a little farther myself down the path of hope and healing. If you found value in this daily inspiration, please like it here on YouTube and share it with others. Share it with those you feel could use a hand to hold on to. And please subscribe to the BYOG Network YouTube channel. The more likes, shares, and subscribers we have, the easier it is for other bereaved souls to find help in their search. So thank you for spending this time of healing with me. No, I am so very sorry for your loss, as I know you are mine. I am R. Glenn Kelly. May you find peace and purpose. Thank you.